Waziri wa Elimu, Sayansi na Teknolojia Profesa Adolf Nkenda amesema uchunguzi wa wale uliofanywa na wataalamu wa wizara hiyo imezibaini shule kadhaa zinazotumia vitabu vinavyokinzana na utamaduni wa nchi. Moja ni kitabu kinaitwa Diary of Wimpy Kid. Pili Diary of Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Tatu Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw. Ne Diary of Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. Tano, Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth. Sita, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Cabin Fever. Saba, Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel. Nane, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Hard Luck. Tisa, Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Long Howl. Kumi, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Old School. Kumi na moja, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Double Down. Kumna mbili, Diary of Wimpy Kid, The Gateway. Kumna tatu, Diary of Wimpy Kid, Diaper Overload. Kumina ne is for transgender. You know best who you are. Kumina tano is for LGBTQIA. Find the words that make you you. Na kumina sita, sex education, a guide to life. Waziri Mkenda amesitisha matumizi ya vitabu hivyo chini ya kifungu cha 59 cha sheria ya elimu sura ya 353 ili ompa jukumu hilo. Kuanzia sasa hivi ni marufuku vitabu hivi kuwepo kwenye shule zetu na taasisi za elimu na anayekiuka atachukuliwa hatua. Hatua kubwa kuliko zote sisi ni kufuta usajili wa shule. Kwa tunaamini hakuna mwenye shule ambaye atapenda tufike huko wote watazingatia haya. Pengine wengine walikuwa navyo bila kuviangalia na kuhakiki kwamba vina maudhui ambayo yanakinzana utamaduni wetu kwa hatuhukumu wale ambao tayari wanavyo ila kuanzia sasa hivi ambaye atakutwa navyo ana taarifa sasa. Wizara hiyo pia imezitaka shule zote za awali, misingi na sekondari ambazo zinatumia mitaala ya ndani au ya nje nchi zitekeleze masharti yaliyoainishwa kupitia waraka wa elimu namba 4 wa mwaka 2014. Na Shoki Makeseni Star TV Dodoma.